Excuse me. I don't know what's worse, you looking at my ass or knowing that you weren't really looking at my ass. <laughs> I'm in a funny kind of mood tonight. Well, not funny ha-ha, obviously. start the show and think, I got a I wish I had a puppet. <laughs> and now there'll be a test of the emergency broadcasting system. <laughs> God, it's like being a veterinarian trying to get out of are you sure this is an actual puppet? I think this is an actual ferret. Ah! Oh, here we go. All right. Then. This has only been a test. Uh, if it was a real emergency, an actual ferret will show up and give you instructions. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is... Evangeline. Um, I know I sound like a dude, but actually I'm just a very heavy smoker. <laughs> now, a lot of people say to me, Evangeline, how can you smoke when you don't even have any fingers, you cute little button? <laughs> I say, well, that's all right. I use my claws. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> All right. I'm not a smoker. I'm just on a very rigorous course of steroids. <laughs> to help me build up muscle tissue for my Olympic bid. <laughs> Do you ever start the show with a puppet and think, oh, why did I bother? <laughs> about furry things that are just adorable <laughs> and like I mean this is an inanimate object it's, it's just a little bit of fur with some beads for her eyes and yet uh, <laughs> I know oh <laughs> there oh oh no she's dead oh no she's fine <laughs> dead fine CBS Cares. <laughs>
Toronto. What a great day for Britain. Wasn't that royal wedding fantastic? I was like, oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> It, it was the wedding spectator event of the year. <laughs> I'm so happy for those two lovebirds, uh, Prince William and uh, uh, Kiki Wigglesworth. Uh, <laughs> it's not too late to buy them a, a wedding gift. They are registered at Inbred Bath and Beyond. Or perhaps it's... with money <laughs> I don't think they're they're not uh, in bread bath and beyond they're uh, b bed bath and beheadings I can't remember look I just I loved it the ceremony made me cry <laughs> not because I get emotional at weddings but because Prince William's now off the market and <laughs> I thought I had a chance <laughs> call me romantic but I have a soft spot for goofy looking English dudes with tons of money <laughs> And when I say soft spot, I am referring, of course, to the region just below my testicles. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to leave anyone in any doubt. <laughs> now, the ceremony may be over, but I've still got royal wedding fever. <laughs> yes, to be the bravest, to There's only one way to get rid of royal wedding fever, and that's a big bowl of divorce soup. <laughs> that was too much. I know, I'm bitter. I wish them well. This wasn't just the biggest wedding of the year, though. It was the biggest wedding of the decade. No offence, Chloe and Lamar, but two billion... <laughs> <laughs> Offended. Too late. Uh, <laughs> two billion people around the world watch the wedding today. Even Al Qaeda guys are watching it. Everybody's watching. They're like, "Oh, she looks so beautiful." <laughs> I just <don't> <clears throat> guess to America. Uh, The story of how Prince William met his wife, though, it's a very touching story. He picked her out while she was walking a runway uh, fashion show. It's like he went wife shopping. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll have that one. <laughs> was... <laughs> Grandma, can I have that one? It was a beautiful wedding, though. I loved the part when he said, uh, I do, and she said, ka -ching. And then Prince Charles... <laughs> It's a joke. And then Prince Charles rode in on a big white horse, or was that Camilla? I can't remember. Chris, uh... Oh, no, that's right. No, she doesn't look like a horse. I just made that up. I just made it up. She doesn't look anything like a horse. <laughs> anyway, look, if you're going to throw out your chances for a knighthood, now's the time to do it, I say to myself. Anyway, Prince Charles got all dressed up for his son's wedding. Do we have a picture of Prince Charles? He looks great. There he is. Uh... Now, Prince Charles... This is true, it was in charge of picking the music for the wedding, which makes sense because he's a music lover. He has an ear for it, in fact. <laughs> he, can, he can hear music from thousands of miles away. Hell, it sounds like carnivals going on in Brazil. Anyway, the, ro the whole royal family was cock-a-hoop today. Even the queen got involved. Apparently, she threw the reception at Buckingham Palace because she loves a good party, you know. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a picture of the Queen of England? There she is. Now, uh, it could take a while. It could take a while for Prince William to be king, because Prince Charles is next in line on the throne. The, but the line of succession doesn't always go as planned. I think it's Prince Charles, it, they think it might be Conan O'Brien and then Jay Leno, but then there's <laughs> William. But I, I, you, know, you know it's going to be Leno. <laughs> Now, royal weddings are a lot different from uh, ordinary weddings. For one thing, they don't throw rice, they throw um, peasants. And... <laughs> <laughs> now, no one knows how much money today's uh, wedding actually cost, but the higher estimates say it might be more expensive than all of Larry King's weddings put together. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad the royal wedding's finally over. Everything at Buckingham Palace uh, must be quiet now. Well, everything. Uh, the palace guards have a saying, if the palace is a-rockin', don't come a-knockin'. 
So I'm guessing right about now, right about now, Prince William's probably paying a visit to the Royal Box and... <laughs> <laughs> I like how you were like, no, that's too far, Craig. <laughs> no, too far. We're Americans, we don't uh, go for rock, but you've gone too far. <laughs> I'm saying they love tennis, that's, that's what I'm saying. They love, as long as the grass is neatly trimmed, they love a bit of tennis. <laughs> anyway, in a, no, that's enough. In a few days, the, uh, the prince and his bride will be going on honeymoon. They'll be going somewhere exotic to relax and unwind from their very stressful life of ex relaxing and unwinding. And... <laughs> They're going to be living in Wales. Uh, I've seen their house. It's surprisingly modest. It has four beds, two baths, and a barn out the back for when Camilla visits, because she looks a little bit... Because she looks a little bit like a horse. So they've got a barn. Not really. It's, I'm saying an exaggeration of something because she looks a little bit like a but she's not actually a horse. It's a joke. So what you're saying, Craig, is she's not actually a horse. No, she's not actually a horse, no. If she was actually a horse, then these people might actually be interesting. Good luck, kids. We'll be right back. If your life needs you with questions, seek advice from under the sea. Dear Aquaman, dear Aquaman, please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Oh, what kind of a stroke is this? <laughs> treading water. I mean, really, this whole show, I'm just treading water. <laughs> oh, sorry, I slapped a fish there, and by that I mean a euphemism for masturbation. <laughs> May I have a letter? Thank you. Let's see who's ready for seaworthy advice. <laughs> Dear Aquaman, what do you do when you want to lose weight? I find the best way to lose weight is through an appetite suppressant. Here comes one now. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Dance for me, Aqualad. <laughs> See, now I feel sick. Please give your advice to me, Aqualad. Featuring Aqualad. Hi! Right. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show after what must be one of the best commercial breaks I've ever seen. <laughs> Exactly. What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's a perfect time for some tweet mails. Y yes, it is! <laughs> Play the thing. Euro crashes and Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check such tweets. Plus emails. <laughs> Email. All right, let's get started. I can't be mucking around. Wait a minute, who's out at the door? Oh, Grant Imahara from the Mythbusters. Hello, Craig Ferguson. Is that uh, is that your full name now, Grant Imahara from the Mythbusters? Yeah, we've all had our names changed to that. So. Yeah, that's yeah. good. It's handy. Do you guys all live in the same house with gadgets and fun and a fireman's pole and your own calendar? 
As far as everyone knows, yes. I think it's a good. I think it's good. Kind of good. That's the kind of feel you get when you watch that show. That everyone kind of lives there. Yeah, that we're we're one family. Yeah, you know. So I know you all hate each yeah. other. <laughs> Well, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the tweets and the emails. Could you help me out? Absolutely. There may be robots, science-based. Oh, do I you want to say hi to Jeff? Grant created yeah. Jeff. He created him. Right there. Hey, Love it. Right. <laughs> this is from uh, Jessica in uh, Guelph in Ontario, which is in Canada. You ever been to Canada? I have, actually. Really? What did you do when you were up there? We spoke to uh, Science Alberta in Alberta, and so they have us come out every year. All right, speak I'm to the done. Kids. No, that's yeah. enough. All right. <laughs> Nothing sexy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> All right, this is from Jessica, who says, uh, Hi, Craig and Grant, uh, which is weird. I, amazing I, she knew you were here. Yeah. Um, she said, I hooked up with a stranger. She said, hooked up is in things. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I hooked, hooked up, up with a stranger recently, and after I told my friend about it, she seemed to be silently judging me for my sexual escapades. Should I be ashamed about my one-night stand? Oh, what do you think, Grant? Are you promiscuous? Well... <laughs> You know, not more than anyone else, I would say. Well, anyone else who? Are we talking about anyone else as in someone who's taken a vow of celibacy or <laughs> Paris Hilton? I mean, Maybe, who are we talking? Well, you know, somewhere in the middle. That's... Somewhere between celibacy and Paris Hilton. Yes. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? <laughs> See, the programming flows from the Yeah, creator, it's, it's right? almost like you have some kind of mind meld going yeah. on. All right, this is from... Uh, Michael in Pass Christian in, uh, and where's that? MS? Mm, Mississippi. Of course, that's what I meant. Okay, uh, yes. Got it. Well, I'm glad that wasn't on the citizenship exam. <laughs> that been... Disastrous. That been... <laughs> and one final question, Craig, before we... <laughs> no! Uh, oh, wait, wait! Where did you say? Uh, all right, Michael says, Dear Craig, how would you feel if you were told that, how would you feel if I told you I would, that I aspire to be just like you? I'd think you were an idiot. <laughs> have you ever been down there in Mississippi? Have you been down to the south there? I have been to the south, but not Mississippi. Oh, you'd like it down there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Tennessee. You want to go to Tennessee. That's nice. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You ever been to Nashville? I have. Well, there you have been at the south end, yeah. but you haven't been to Mississippi, just exactly as you said. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Oh. That's right. You're very clever, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, this is from Harrison in uh, Sackville in Nova Scotia. It's all very Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what Nova Scotia means in Latin? No. New Scotland. New Scotland? Yes, yeah. Old Scotland's good, too. Yeah. <laughs> You ever been over to uh, Scotland? No. Been to Ireland, but not Scotland. Well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I've been to England. Is that, that's like saying, have you been to uh, Los Angeles? No, but I've been to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> They're in Europe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, All right. dear Craig, if you could design a theme park, what would it be like? Oh, this is definitely for you. Ooh. What about a Mythbusters theme park? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. It'd be very dangerous, though. There'd be things exploding and robots. And, no, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it would be great. And you could oh. ride the Heineman, right? You could get this, like... Yes. You, you, yeah, and, and yeah. it would, like... Yeah. 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 That'd be fantastic. Oh, God. <clears throat> I think we're on to something. I, you, I tell you, I'll put some money in that, buddy. All right. Yeah. We'll call Discovery. In. Yeah, yeah. It's all the Discovery Network. Yeah. Did you, yeah. Oh, you did the Shark Week, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Sharks. You don't like you don't like the sharks so much, do you? No, I don't like them because you know they they bump into you, and I don't like the, now, the that's, fish. Listen, if they just bump into you, that's a result with a shark. Yeah. It's when they you know. Yeah. No. No. No biting. Thank goodness. Do you know that male sharks have two penises? I, that's I, true. I, that's true. So I you can't beat that. That's a fact. That is a you don't you beat that tootsie fruits because that <laughs> is a fact. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you see, you can't, they can't be a bit of his true, so there's two things that are true there. One, that sharks have two penises, and two, he's a tootsie fruits. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. Uh, CBS does not endorse in any way anything I say. CBS cares. All right, then, we're, we're done. Uh, okay. Quick awkward pause or mouth organ. We don't have much time. 
I did the mouth organ last time, so, so awkward. Quick pause. order. It'll have yeah. to be a quick one, though. All right. You ready? Grand Amahara, everybody! <laughs> to the big royal wedding spectacular where we're enjoying the royal wedding. <laughs> My uh, first guest tonight is a very funny comedian. He's a good friend of the show. He's got the same birthday as me. Except he's older, but he was born on the same day, but older. He's much older. He looks a bit older as well. <laughs> Please welcome Bob Saget, everybody. Bob Saget. Playing the Bob Saget music. Bob, Bob, Bob Saget, Bob, Bob, Bob Saget. I, I pogo to that music. Really? Yeah, with a pogo with no handles. Have you ever seen? <laughs> See, that, that's not. Now you started. Have you ever seen John Lovitz's stand-up act? Yeah. In fact, they roasted me a couple years ago on Comedy Central, and he sang. Did the he song. do it? Because yeah. I want to see his John Lovitz do stand-up in Cleveland when I was there, and he sang this yeah. whole song about you being gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He, he can dream on, but. Um... <laughs> He's, I think he really wants you to be gay. Well, he does. He's in a size C cup. I mean, he wants me to do the, you know, I don't even want to give, I can't even give credence to it, but he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a funny guy, but he sings about me being, you know, like that, and that's not fair to the other gay people. Yeah, yeah, because gay like, people dress really they deserve, well. They deserve They're, better. Yeah, 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 they do. So you're not, then? What? You're, you're not gay. <laughs> I'm always honest with you and open. <laughs> Where, have you been, Bob? I love it that we have the same birthday. That makes me happy. We, happier we've, than you know. No, I know. It's crazy, isn't it's it? It's just it fantastic. Me, every it, day, every every year on, on our birthdays, Bob right. and I email each other. We do. <laughs> isn't and that adorable? I, and then I, I have John Lovitz call us both. Gay, yeah, yeah. I, I'm always thinking of you. <laughs> Your birthday is uh, it's May 17th, if anybody wants to send Craig a card. Or, or Bob. Or, yeah. you know. But, although, Bob, you, you, the year in which you were born, when was that, Bob? It was during the uh, Prohibition. Yeah. And, and I've been spending my entire life trying to make, make up for that. No, I'm, no, I'm not. What? I've never made uh, alcohol or any distillery in my home. <laughs> Bob, I think you're defending yourself too much. Do you have an illegal right. still in your house, Bob? Well, I must now that I'm so gay. Right, yeah. That's a, I'm gay and I have an illegal still. <laughs> but it looks fabulous. In your pants. In your pants. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, even drink that much uh, today. <laughs> I never uh, get enough of you, though. You know what I'm saying. Go, I mean, I, I... Are you in therapy, Bob? Oh, God, I'm ever... Because you do something... therapy hands. I do therapy hands. I've noticed right. I do that now. Do you, do you want to know how in therapy I am? I see something flat, and I want to lie on it just to talk. This is a desk. It makes me want to just lie. That might not be therapy. That might be a love of surfing. Or a need for mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. You know, like Baywatch, when you're like, please talk. No, you know, you know, when, you, you know, I know when I'm going nowhere. No, I no, don't, no, I know, no, I can tell you. No, this, Bob, uh, no, uh, let, me, let me tell you, there's you don't hate. know when you're going nowhere. <laughs> I've seen you occasionally. Well, that's commitment. But, and then I've seen you, I'm going, where, Bob, yeah, you're going nowhere. And you're like charging down that road, yakety yeah. yak, I'm Bob Saget. Yeah. That's comedy denial. Yeah, it's comedy denial. But do you still do the late night profane show in Las Vegas? No, I did it that one time and you came out and did it. And yeah, you, yeah. And you were fantastic. Well, I was very dirty because they said you've got to be as dirty as you can be. As but dirty as you can be. That I was the whole show. I don't think, and it sounds like a good ad for something. As dirty as you can be. Get, and then you can clean it using the, I don't know. I like the it. scrubber, the, the, the butt Crikey. scrubber. <laughs> By the way, if I if you saw that in an infomercial, you wait a minute, wait, Craig. Bob, Bob. No, seriously. TMI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait by the TMI. way. Let me let me explain something. The way his head is shaped, that could actually be part of the brush at the end. 
that could... Did I mention I'm single? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go after him, Bob. Don't. Do you... He'll break your heart. Well, he's, I'm talking to a skull. <laughs> I do it every night. It's awesome. <laughs> no, listen, you don't do the dirty show in Vegas? Why not? No, no, I, my, all my shows are... I'm not that dirty. I, I did family television, so people will see me. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> I mean, I'm out on the road, you know, I love doing stand-up. You love doing stand-up. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. left you a note at the Warner Theater. I got it. Thanks very much. And then I called you. You didn't get me. I called you. you I gave Bob, you... I'm not gay, but thanks for the note. No, I thought... No, you tweeted me, and oh, then I thought me. you said you were gay, and I was all happy. <laughs> I don't know. Now, where do I come into editing tomorrow to fix this? <laughs> There's no editing on a live show, Bob. Damn. Mm. So... But so, so I left you a note, and, and uh, that was very interesting. That night, when I played the Warner Theater, I had been doing this show called Strange Days, and these motorcycle people came from the Iron Order Motorcycle Club to my show, and 100 Harleys were parked out front of the Warner Theater in Washington. Ooh. Didn't you love that theater? I did. It's a very nice theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that your favorite theater to play in the country? I think uh, one of them. I like dinner theaters because the food is right there. Um, you can act well, I don't know what dinner theater is. Is, well, it, is it like a, a comedy thing. club? They just people no, are eating. No, it was like you know, back in the in the day, you could go see a play like a chorus line, and it'd be like going to medieval times, and you'd be able to. Eat. I love medieval times. I mean, not. I love medieval times. Right. And yeah. then you, you eat prime rib while people joust. Yeah. And you throw your bones. That's dinner theater. Throw your bones. <laughs> There's a skull uh, right over there. In your yeah, pants. Your pants, yeah. No, I, have you ever been to Medieval Times? Yes, I have, actually. Uh, John Stamos and Dave Collier took me... John Stamos from Full House. Uh, the, the Not familiar with the gentleman, no. Took me, took me to Medieval Times, and we sat in this tinfoil, and you eat... Uh, I've been there. I, I've been. I went with kids, though. That's why I was there. I wasn't well, there with John Stamos. Well, you know, I, we were... At the time, we were on Full House. So it was very similar to taking children. Really? Yeah. It was, it, it was, that must have caused a big kerfuffle. And, uh, <laughs> It was crazy. But, yeah. you know, when, when you're eating uh, uh, ribs and chicken and stuff, and then a man comes toward you with a long Lancelot... Uh, we, we still talking about medieval times? No, I'm talking about uh, the, uh, that other thing uh, that... Uh, did not, you have a good time on that Strange Days with Bob Saget? Very much so. I met a lot of really cool people, and uh, I still talk to some of them. I, I joined a frat at Cornell, which was very, very cool. Uh, an honorary frat member of this thing called the Seal and Serpent. <laughs> If, I, if I'm on your show, knowing you and knowing how you think, and I say seal and serpent, mm. that's the name of a frat at Cornell, but, but you and I both hear seal and serpent. We just go to that place. Am I wrong? I blame our birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I think people born on May 17th are naturally dirty-minded, naughty, naughty boys. <laughs> Including Anya. Anya. Yeah, because when, she, when she's doing that, ho, ha, he, ho, ha, he, yeah, it she's really like... thinking about boobies and other things that are dirty. It sounds, it's, it sounds like she's being worked like a puppet. It does sound. <laughs> poopies and other things that are dirty. No, 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 now, not why poopies. Is, I, didn't, I didn't say poopies. I said, they did... No, boobies. Boobies. Boobies, boobies yeah. So why was I work like a puppet so much more horrible? I, I submit to the jury. Well, the thing, is is, the thing is, Bob, what's happening is that people are now expect you to be dirty, and even but, when you're not, they think you are. It's like people expect me to be Scottish. I'm actually not. What, what, what are you? Spanish. I, I get where you're coming from. Do you? Coming from... Coming Spain. From Spain. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to Spain, Bob? No, but I kind of like the music. <laughs> I want to go there. Spain? What, you, what countries uh, have you been to, Bob, outside of Canada? Well, Canada. Okay. I've been to uh, Mexico. Ah, it's a very popular country. Been to Italy. Italy, you say? What did you do in Italy? Did you enjoy the pasta? Like, you don't remember what we did there. <laughs> it was a magical time. It was. I, I, I took you through Venice on a gondola. And then we went to Italy. <laughs> we, we were just up the PCH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I what drove were you doing in Italy? Were you, were you with a girl? Pardon me? Were you with a girl? No, I, I was with a horse. I, no, I, I... You were with a horse? Yes, I You did. took a horse to Italy? At that time... Wait a minute, not! <laughs> Secretary! News. You, know, you I have did won a uh, Team Secretariat t-shirt. This is, you know, I planned that. Yeah. That's fantastic.
I will, I will wear this. Yeah, you, you can have it. It's free, and, and it's, it's actually Disney gave them out when they did the movie, and we got a bunch of free T-shirts, so we thought we could use them on the show. This has been places, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, what? Yeah, horse. <laughs> that's not a real horse, right? What are you talking about? Uh, that's what I took to Italy with me, that kind of thing. <laughs> no, yeah. You've, you, I think you've had me here way too long. That's what I think. For you. For your, for, I'm thinking for you. You mean tonight? No, just in general. <laughs> What are you going to do right after you leave here? Where, where are you going? I mean, where are you going? Tonight? Yeah, exactly. When you leave here tonight. Strip club? <laughs> you know, I wish Second I... job? What, do you, do you... They call me Black Velvet. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome Black Velvet. Sound familiar, Bob? That's right, Bob. Actually... What about these, Bob? Look familiar, Bob? Oh, my God. Bob, Bob, maybe you recognize them more now, Bob, do you? Thank you. Leave me alone. All right. Leave these me are, alone. These are the worst strippers in the world. Leave me Here's two bucks. Leave me alone. No, that's how, that's how <laughs> I approach, approach strippers. Please, okay. I was on Full House. I'm really sorry. You really? No, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't subscribe. But but if you were Black Velvet, I would, I'd like to paint you, actually. I never, you know, I know Black Velvet, like the kind you would buy, like, you know, those, those bullfight paintings, those beautiful, like if you were in a matador thing, because you've been to Spain, right? Mouth organ or awkward pause, Bob. <laughs> That's the first, thank God you called it. <laughs> Mine's all going to awkward pause. Pardon me? Well, when we finish up, I like to finish up either way. Oh, oh, I know this. Yes, yeah, sorry. Right. sorry. Um, um, what do you prefer? Does anyone ever ask you? You know, thanks, Bob. <laughs> I think tonight I'd like to go with both. <laughs> it's never been done. <laughs> awkward mouth organ. <laughs> well, that's... In, uh, no, in, 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 just throw it in, throw it in. An awkward mouth organ in my life is redundant. <laughs> Here's a fresh one we had prepared earlier. Right. Oh, it's getting awkward already, Bob. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost like you don't know how to unwrap that. What organ. are these? Are these Zippos? What are these? That's uh, what you do is, do you enjoy the marijuana, Bob? No, no, yeah. Because you can just roll your no, I marijuana. Like to, I do like to reference it, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I roll it up like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Awkward mouth organ pause. All right. I saw your lips moving away. I hoped I'd never see them move. It's like an Abe Vigoda moment. <laughs> they just went... Hey, 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 hey. Alien extension <laughs> at a buffet. And my aunt looking for lox and bagel. <laughs> searching. Whoa, it was like a wildlife documentary. Like, All right. so you can't see this on cable. Yeah, yeah that's why people pay for it. <laughs> Everybody, where we're at. Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is known as the Queen of Funk. She's here to perform Mama Don't Like My Man. No one's ever said it like that before. <laughs> From the album, I Learned the Hard Way, please welcome Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, everybody. Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. He's rough around the edges. He 
On the Late Late Show, Will Ferrell, Jeffrey Rush, and Juliette Lewis. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Oh, my. <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is why we have TV. <laughs> you know, sometimes people say to me, Craig, what show was it that won you the Peabody Award, the most prestigious award in broadcast television? And I said, the one where the skeleton's head came out the cat's ass. <laughs> No, that wasn't the episode. <laughs> it was a different episode. Not the one where the skeleton's head came out the cat's ass. Although, that one will get an Emmy. <laughs> well, I tell you what I learned on the show tonight. I learned that that Bob Saget is a dirty, dirty man. <laughs> but I already knew that, so I didn't really learn that at all. It's funny that Bob and I have the same birthday. It's one of those things you don't think of growing up. When I was growing up, I used to see every year in the paper, I used to see, birthdays today, Bob Saget. I thought, I'll never meet him. <laughs> then I met him and he said, hey, we have the same birthday. And I said, how do you know that? And he said, I'm Bob Saget. <laughs> he is awesome. You know when you think, is Bob Saget as awesome as you think? More awesome. <laughs> and he smells a bit. A bit like strawberries. <laughs> so that's all I got for you. Um, sorry about that puppet thing at the start of the show, but, you know, they can't all win the Peabody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.